My next patron question is from Trevor, who wants me to compare two Saturday morning cartoons from the 80s. Which animated series based on an orange cat that originated from a comic strip do you think is better, Garfield and Friends or Heathcliff and the Cadillac Cats? These are both characters whose comic strips I definitely read when I was younger, but Garfield and Friends was the only one whose show I watched as a child. Heathcliff was just not something that seemed to get rerun much. And after watching a couple Heathcliff episodes, I personally think the better cartoon absolutely belonged to Garfield. Garfield and Friends was able to take the humor of Jim Davis' strips and expand on them for the show. The animation, produced by Film Roman, adapted Davis' art style well and gave it a certain amount of charm. The head writer for the show was Mark Evanier, who brought a lot of wit to the show and that led to enough funny moments per episode. He really understood what made Garfield so appealing, with his deadpan reactions to John, Odie, and everyone he encountered. Yes, we have the familiar jokes of Garfield loving food, especially lasagna, television, and sleeping. There were also the scenarios of him messing with Odie and getting annoyed at Normal's cuteness. However, these still managed to be amusing thanks to the clever writing. The episode's storylines were creative, taking advantage of Garfield's personality and the ways he would often contrast with John and would even play up what we know about him. There's one episode where Garfield wishes Monday did not exist, because for those of you unaware, Garfield hates Mondays. However, he then finds out the dangers of removing a day from the week to humorous results. They took the classic, be careful what you wish for scenario and successfully played around with it. Another reason the show worked was because of the excellent casting of Lorenzo Music as Garfield. He brought the right sarcasm to Garfield, and the show creators even found a way to visualize Garfield speaking without moving his mouth from the comic strip, thus continuing the idea that he is saying all this without John understanding him. Garfield and Friends also included segments based on Jim Davis's U.S. Acres strip, and these were okay, but let's be honest, most of us watched the show for Garfield. The and Friends part was just a bonus. As for Heathcliff, it's an example of most of what passed for Saturday morning cartoons in the 80s. There's certainly animated shows from that decade I have a fondness for, like DuckTales and Inspector Gadget, but the vast majority of cartoons that made it to the airwaves were not exactly high caliber. They were often corporate-driven products with largely uninteresting storylines and characters and animation that tried the best it could under a limited budget. Heathcliff falls into that category. The comic strip was hardly the most sophisticated art in the world, and the main joke usually involved Heathcliff rummaging for food or annoying people in the neighborhood. However, there was a certain charm to it. The Heathcliff cartoon, produced by Deke, lacks much in the way of winning humor or likability. Heathcliff himself grates on the nerves, which is baffling since he's voiced by Mel Blanc. I don't entirely blame Blanc, because the cat is portrayed as largely obnoxious here, and he seems to have been directed to just do a slight twist on his Bugs Bunny voice. The gags lack the required timing and cleverness to make them funny, and this is one of those animated shows that mostly relies on being frenetic to grab the target audience's attention. Something that especially annoyed me was the constant sound effects. It's expected for Saturday Morning Cartoon to use goofy sound effects, but Heathcliff takes it to another level as they never stop, and even used in spots where they are unnecessary. The plots for the episodes are nothing to write home about either. Like Garfield, the show had an additional segment involving a different group of characters. However, instead of being derived from the comic strip, these were original characters that Inspector Gadget co-creators Jean Chalopin and Bruno Bianchi came up with. The Cadillac Cat segments were not much better than the Heathcliff ones, and had the same haphazard storytelling and lack of funny gags. I've been ragging a lot on this show, but I will admit the designs are at least visually pleasing. They did a good job of translating George Gately's characters to animation and gave it an extra splash of color, even if the animation still does not rise too much above the standard Saturday morning fare. Maybe I would feel more positive towards the Heathcliff cartoon if I grew up with it, but watching it for the first time now, it certainly did not endear to me. Interesting enough, quite a few notable names worked on Heathcliff. This was the first show Chuck Lorre was hired to write for, before he went on to write the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song and create Two and a Half Men and The Big Bang Theory. Meanwhile, Ren and Stimpy creator John Chris Belusi was an assistant character designer on Heathcliff. Now let me know whether you prefer Garfield and Friends or Heathcliff and the Cadillac Cats, and thank you for your question, Trevor.